What's the deal with all this alkaline water? It's marketing BS is pissing me off. I would not recommend alkaline water. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel, Sky Life, where I explore the world of wellness and try all sorts of health and lifestyle trends and challenges. In this video, I'm going to be trying alkaline water. You may have heard of alkaline water before, or you might have no clue what it is. Don't worry, because we are going to get to the bottom of it in this video once and for all. Alkaline water is a growing health trend that I have been exposed to a lot here in LA, and it's something I've always questioned. There are these alkaline water shops all over LA making all sorts of crazy health claims, but I really don't understand it and I need to investigate this further. First of all, is alkaline water actually superior to drinking just regular water? Are any of the health claims actually true? And is there science and research to support this? I need to get some answers. But first, let's define what alkaline water actually is. The pH scale ranges from 0 to 14, 0 being the most acidic and 14 being the most basic or alkaline. Normal water has a pH of around 7, which is generally where our bodies fall on the pH scale, although different parts of the body have different pH levels. For example, the stomach tends to be more acidic because it has stomach acid, which is a digestive fluid that helps to break down food. The body has its own natural mechanisms for regulating pH through all sorts of bodily functions, including just breathing. Alkaline water is simply a form of water that has a high pH, around 8 to 10. Alkaline water companies, health blogs, and your neighborhood hippie claim that alkaline water can reverse aging, improve memory, support heart and liver health, and even help cure cancer. Yet there are no conclusive studies that validate these claims at all. However, I did find some research worth mentioning. A 2016 literature review of 252 studies concluded that there is no valid research to support or disprove the claims being made about alkaline water. I did find a few studies on alkaline water that were quite interesting. A 2016 study conducted over three years with 150 mice showed that the mice that were given alkaline water did have greater signs of longevity and anti-aging. However, another study published in 2001 showed that alkaline water may have adverse effects if the pH is too high. In this study, rats were given alkaline water with a pH of 11 to 12 for one year, and at the end of the experiment, the rats had lost weight or experienced delayed growth, thinning fur, and even discoloration in the mouth. Another study published in 2016 followed 36 professional soccer players and found that the group drinking alkaline water did show improvements in hydration, anaerobic performance, and recovery. After researching alkaline water, I had more questions than answers. So it was time to get out in the world and do some investigating. Okay, so I brought my friend Kevin along to help me investigate alkaline water. Kevin is an alkaline water drinker. You're falling right into the bandwagon, hopping on the alkaline trend. You're also holding this giant ice. gallon. I got my five gallon <laughs> ready. We're gonna go get it refilled. How did you find out about alkaline water in the first place and then why, why did you hop on the bandwagon? So this place where I actually get my alkaline water, just stumbled upon it, just walking down the road. Typical LA resident walking down the street and you stumble upon an alkaline water shop and you think <laughs> this is a good idea. Yeah. I enjoy working out. I enjoy recovering fast from those workouts. A friend of mine was visiting town. He's a trainer for the NFL team, the Buffalo Bills. Not only does he recommend that their players drink alkaline water as part of their supplement routine, but he shared an article with me backing up the science behind it. So we are going to investigate. We're gonna go into these stores. We're gonna drive around and hit up all these alkaline water stores and just ask a simple question. How do you source your water? Are you ready? Let's go. I feel like you're one of those health fanatic, hop on the health trend Me? people. Me? Yeah. I'm, I'm the health trend fanatic. <laughs> Maybe I am as well. I totally am that person. You also yeah, well, fall into that camp. It takes one to know one, so we'll put it that way. <laughs> we visited a few alkaline stores in the area and learned about how each was making their water. And we soon realized that they were all quite similar. Okay, Kevin, so what did we learn? All right, so we learned that there's basically an umbrella corporation that owns all these different brands <laughs> of alkaline. So basically we learned that most of these alkaline water places are doing it the same way. They're just filtering LA tap water, they're infusing it with some alkaline minerals. 
and calling it a day. I still have some investigating to do. So I did a little bit more research and I consulted with my friend named Luke Story, who is a great podcaster. I will link to his podcast in the video description because he's a real water expert. So he's the person to go to for your water questions. I'll just send you there and I can just stop this video right now because it's really killing me having to dissect this complex topic. But basically what he told me is that the best type of water to drink is a naturally occurring mineral rich spring water. And that some of these types of waters just naturally have a higher alkalinity because of the minerals in them. So with that in mind, I then remembered that I had come across a water called Rising Springs at the biohacking conference for Upgrade Labs that I attended recently. I met this woman named Nikoya, who's the founder of Rising Springs, and she was so beautiful and vibrant and had such great energy. And I was like, what are you doing, girl? And she's like, it is the water. I'm telling you, my family just kind of came into this source by chance because her family had this background of being in water advocacy or something. And then she got this, this natural spring, came into her family, and then she now she's sharing it with this business. What she told me just blew my mind because basically she said she really believes that after drinking this water for an extended amount of time, her hair got thicker and grew more because of the minerals in the water. I'm meeting up with Nikoya tomorrow to learn more and then I'm gonna start trying this alkaline water and see what happens. So tell me more about Rising Springs. Yeah, so Rising Springs is a single source natural mineral water that rises under the Sawtooth National Forest. It rises from 2.5 two miles deep below the Earth's surface, and it goes through two miles of quartz crystals, which gives you the incredible silica. And then it also comes out as an alkalinity of 9.4, so high alkalinity. What is silica? It's a mineral, and it's a building block of collagen. So great for hair, skin, nails, um, but also all the connective tissue in our body. What are all the benefits of Rising Springs? Mm -hmm. So the purity, it's tested pure to parts per quadrillionth. I don't know of another water that's tested that pure. And that's because of its age of 16,000 years old. There is the redox potential. So the redox potential of Rising Springs is negative 144 to negative 150 millivolts. It's able to work as an antioxidant. Now, what really fascinated me and made me want to drink the water is talking to you, who you said, you said your hair grew after you started drinking it over time. Yes. And I was actually going through a time in my life um, where just my hair had gotten pretty thin, thinner, and was um, falling out and was, I couldn't grow it very long. And it was really sad for me. <laughs> I love long hair. And then starting to drink Rising Springs, it was probably, I'd say a year after that I just noticed that my hair was so much fuller. And now I think I'm about three years in drinking Rising Springs. It, it grows so fast. It is so full. I mean, really it reminds me of maybe the hair I had in my young 20s yeah. uh, and I'm 46. Um, You're so. 46? <laughs> what? How did you come into this? Because you're sourcing this from this super special rare spring. My larger family has a long history of water advocacy and protection in the nonprofit water space. So that source came up for sale and somebody connected to the selling of the source found my family because they knew of our history in the water advocacy space and they really wanted somebody that would protect and steward the springs, not extract water. When um, the spring was purchased, there wasn't an idea to launch Rising Springs. It was mostly to steward this incredible sacred water source and protect it. Source matters, basically. So where, what is your source? How is your water handled and treated? And how is it packaged and brought to you? Those are important things that I think everybody should know about their water. Hey, let's try it. Ah, tastes like water. I feel like you can definitely tell some shitty tap water from some good quality water. If I take a moment to actually really, really think about how it tastes and put some more mindfulness into it, I feel like I can taste the mineral nature of the water. 
After continuing to drink the water throughout the week, I couldn't really tell if I saw any noticeable difference in how I felt. I did feel really amazing that week, but I also was just taking really good care of myself, so it's too hard to say if it was all due to the water. At this point, I still had questions about the alkaline water trend and needed to seek the opinion of a medical professional. So as a doctor, this is what I say. I don't think that we have the evidence to back up many of the claims that are made about alkaline water. Um, I don't necessarily think that you need to drink alkaline water to be healthier. Some people do find that it helps with acid reflux. Um, but remember that in terms of balancing our pH, that's our, that's our body's jobs. It does a great job with that. Could we find out more in the future? Certainly, we certainly could. Is it worth the money with the hopes that it will drastically change your life right now? I'm not sure that I can say it is. All right, here's the deal. After looking into the alkaline water trend, I have many thoughts and I still have questions about this. The thing is, with all of these different trends and topics, they are very complex because there are a lot of different elements that you have to unpack and we're also still learning more when it comes to the science and research behind these things. So there could be research that comes out down the line that says that alkaline water is in fact quite beneficial. We don't have it yet. So until then, I don't think that alkaline water is a worthwhile trend to invest in unless it is water that's coming from a naturally occurring mineral rich spring like Rising Springs. After trying Rising Springs, I would say that it's not the alkalinity in the water that I care about. It's the fact that it is sourced naturally from this beautiful natural spring that runs through all of these incredible minerals. And that's the reason why I'm going to keep drinking it to see maybe if I do notice changes over time in my hair, skin and nails. I think the most important thing is that we're getting enough water and choosing water over other sugary beverages. Another thing I need to mention is how grateful and lucky I feel to even be considering what type of water I should be drinking for optimal health when so many people around the world don't he even have access to healthy, clean drinking water. And that's something that I really hope we can all get behind in supporting organizations whose mission it is to provide clean drinking water to people who need it. I've linked to a few of them down below if you want to take a look and get involved. Okay, that is it for this episode of Skylight. Thank you so much for watching and please comment below your thoughts about this video and if you've tried alkaline water and what your experience was. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell button to turn on post notifications so you can be notified whenever I post a video, which is every Thursday. Thank you so much for watching and remember, you have the power to thrive, you have the power to live your best life ever. I will see you next week. Bye!